In this video, I'm going to show you some examples of how to calculate and use z-scores. The variable I've chosen to use for my example is from the General Social Survey in 2012. Its mnemonic is age KDBRN, age kid born, and it measures the age when your first child was born. I've restricted my sample to only the women in uh, 2012. You can see the descriptive statistics on the left. We have 846 women. We had an average age of approximately 23 years old when the first child was born with a standard deviation of approximately 5.2. Our ages range from 13 for the youngest woman, or the age when they had their first child, to 42. Down in the lower right, you can see that I have my frequency histogram. And while this distribution is not normally distributed, I'm going to treat it as if it is. I have a large number of cases, and it's almost normally distributed. We're going to work a couple of z-score problems here to show you how to calculate the z-scores and then later problems will use them and of course we're going to have to learn how to use the z-table as well. For our first problem we're just going to convert a couple of ages to z-scores. So we're going to convert the ages of 17, 23, and 39 to z-scores. Let's review the z-score formula. We know that a z-score is equal to some score minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. The statistics on the left show me that my mean is approximately 23, my standard deviation is approximately 5.19, so very simply we're going to uh, just plug numbers into these formulas and calculate the associated z-scores. A z-score for somebody 17 years old is going to equal 17 minus 22.98 divided by 5.19, which equals minus 5.98 divided by 5.19. Notice that in the numerator here, the number is negative meaning that an age of 17 is below average, which we can see the average is about 23. So this has to be a negative number. And we get approximately minus 1.15. Similarly, a z-score for somebody who's 23 years old is equal to 23 minus 22.98 divided by 5.19 and we get 0 0.02 divided by 5.19. Note here that our numerator while positive is very small, basically 0 because 23 is obviously uh, very close to 22.98. Technically this is 0 0.003 but it's close enough that I'm going to say it's approximately 0. Finally, a z-score for a woman who is 39 years old is equal to 39 minus 22.98 divided by our standard deviation. And there we are. We've taken three ages, drawn from a sample with a mean of 22.98 and a standard deviation of 5.19, and converted the numbers 17, 23, and 39 to z-scores, which respectively are minus 1.15, 0, and 3.09.